So hello, uh, good day to everyone. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to convert decimal number into its binary equivalent and vice versa. The fastest and the simplest uh, method. Uh, but first, uh, let us try to demonstrate the conversion of decimal to binary uh, into using the, the long method. Okay. So let's say for example, we are going to convert 12 in decimal okay, and we are going to convert it into its binary equivalent. So, to do so, uh, we are going to divide this decimal number into 2. So, divided by 2. Okay. And we take note its quotient as well as its remainder. Okay. So, we have 12 divided by 2, the quotient is 6 without any remainder at all. Okay. So, the quotient will now be our new dividend. Okay. This number will be divided again into 2. So, 2 which is the base of a binary number. Okay. So, we just simply continue the process until such time the quotient becomes 0. Okay. So, 6 divided by 2, we have 3 remainder 0 as well. Since the quotient is not yet equal to 0, we continue the process. So, this quotient will now be our new dividend. We divide it again by 2. So, 3 divided by 2, we get 1. And the remainder is 1. Okay. Since the quotient is not yet equal to 0, then we still continue the process. So, we divide 1 by its base 2. So, we get now 0. So, 1 divided by 2, 0. And we get a remainder of 1. Okay. And since we already obtained 0 as uh, the quotient, we stop the process. Okay. We start the process this time. And we are going to rewrite the quotient from bottom to top. Therefore, 12 in decimal is equal to, we simply rewrite this one. So we have 1, 1, 0, 0, base 2. So this is the long method how to convert decimal into binary number. Now, we are going to demonstrate how to convert decimal number into its binary equivalent using the short method. Okay, So, uh, I call this one as uh, the box method. Okay, So, box method in the sense that we are going to draw a box and we are going to divide it into eight equal parts. Okay, eight equal parts. So this number of boxes, uh, you can you can add some more boxes until it's infinite number. Okay, as long as uh, or the higher the number, you are going to to convert into its uh, binary equivalent the longer the box will be. Okay. So we are going to convert uh, 12 as the previous example into its binary equivalent. Okay. Now, we will assign each box a number from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1 to 8, and so on and so forth. Okay, we simply double the number. After 1 to 8, if uh, if the number to be converted is higher than 255, so we simply add another another uh, box here, which is 256, 512, 1024, 2048, and so on and so forth. Okay, 
So since uh, we we are going to to convert only a a very small number, which is twelve, so this can already suffice it. So twelve in decimal is equivalent to what number in binary? Okay. So in converting twelve in decimal into its binary equivalent, we simply turn on the box into one, which corresponds to the sum of this number, which is twelve. So since twelve to obtain sum, we get eight plus four. Okay, so that is eight. Eight plus four that is equal to twelve. That is the only number we are going to turn it into one. The rest of the box or the boxes we turn it to zero. Okay, so you can also turn this one into zero, but these numbers, okay, zero before a a significant number can be omitted. So we simply rewrite it. Just copy the number before zeros. So that is one, one, zero, zero, base two. Okay, which is also the same to our previous example, which is one, one, zero, zero. Okay, let's have another example. Let's say we try to convert the decimal number one hundred sixty-six base ten. What is its binary equivalent? Okay. So again, just find a number in which, if we are going to take the sum, it will result to one hundred sixty-six. Okay. So in order to obtain one hundred sixty-six, we need one to eight. So we turn it into one. How about sixty-four? Okay, so one to eight plus sixty-four. That is twelve. That is nine. One nine two. So it already exceeded. So we do not need sixty-four this time. Okay, therefore we turn it into zero. Okay, how about thirty-two? Thirty-two. So we try. One to eight plus thirty-two. That is ten. Carry one. Five six. One hundred sixty. So we need thirty-two. So we turn it into one. Okay. Next. How about sixteen? Okay. One to eight plus thirty-two is one hundred sixty already. Okay. And uh, our objective here is to get this number 166. Obviously, we do not need 16, so we turn it into zero. Okay, we only need six. Therefore, we do not need eight. Therefore, you turn it into zero. Okay, how about four? So since we only needed six. We need four and two. Obviously, we do not need one already to obtain the sum one hundred sixty-six. Therefore, our answer is one hundred sixty-six base ten is also equivalent to one zero one zero zero one one zero base two. So. 166 base 10 is equivalent to 10100111 base 2.